We're now gonna look at Final Cut Pro's three essential guidelines for media management. And there are only three, so it's quite simple. As long as you remember these three, you're good to go. I think, I think they're helpful ways to think about how Final Cut works, is as you're going forward and moving clips and copying stuff and doing things, if you keep these in mind, you won't get into trouble. Right, so let's take a look. So again, three essential rules, or guidelines. I like guidelines better than rules. Remember the Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so. You don't need to open the library bundle. Like we've been doing in the previous lesson, don't need to do that. We're only doing that to show you what happens under the hood. Right. And we may be doing more, but the point is to actually manage media, there's no need to go into the library bundle whatsoever. You don't need to do it. So the next uh, guideline is external media is not managed. Now this is huge. You never have to worry about your media that's on any external location ever being managed by Final Cut Pro. Yeah, and it's really, we always talk about, you can either choose managed media or external media. So Final Cut Pro will never move or delete media that you have in an external location. That's right. So let's look at the last one. Libraries are independent of each other. So they essentially function as their own little islands as it yep. were. They, uh, they're they self-contained. And I love that because you can open and close libraries. You can just have the library open you're working on and you know that that library is never going to reference material in another library. It just, it can't happen because of the way Final Cut's structured. Exactly, well we said earlier, they're little independent databases. Yep, so given those rules, how do we actually manage media? How do we, how do, we do it? Three more things. Okay, three more things. Three. Media management operations, which as I said, there's essentially three. Okay, so let's look at the first one, consolidate. Uh, consolidate, I like to refer to as gathering your eggs in one basket. Then you'll have media in the library managed and you might have some media outside, external, and consolidate will bring that all together under one, one drive or one location. So you always have the option of collecting all that right. media. Right, and what we call it consolidating into the library or consolidating out of the library. Okay. okay? Then there is a modify settings button. And you saw this in the previous lesson, you use that button to retarget your media, yeah. saying I want it in or I want it out. So basically you modify settings before you consolidate. Exactly. Okay. okay. And the last operation would be move or copy. You have clips in one library, in one event, and you want to move them into um, an event in another library. How clips do do or events or projects, or projects or entire libraries, how do you move and copy Right. All of all those different types of objects. Right. So move and copy all those different things. Okay. Right. So that's what we're going to look at in this lesson specifically. So uh, let's jump into Final Cut Pro and see how it's done. So as a review, you recall in the previous lesson, we created a library called California Underwater with a single event in it. If I select the library, you'll notice over here in the library properties inspector that there are two media locations, uh, the hard drive and external media. Remember, this library is kind of a I call it a cocktail of real clips and sim clips that are in there. And I don't want them, I don't want the media existing in all these locations. I want to gather it all into one single location. And the reason that you might want to do that is because you want to be able to give that media to somebody else. You might want to archive it. Uh, you might want to get, return a drive that the media was on. That's like right. Originally you wanted to leave it in place because you want to spend copying time copying it, but now is the time to return the drive so you want to put all of that media in one location. Right. So and that's an excellent example. So let's look at consolidating the media into a single location. Notice the consolidate button, go ahead and click it. And then a window comes up that basically is a synopsis of what's about to occur. Here, it'll say that the original media will be consolidated into the library, California Underwater. Remember, it's gonna become managed. It also says that available optimized or proxy media can also be copied, which is why these two checkboxes are here. Since I don't have any proxy or optimized media, I'll leave them unchecked. Because you never chose to transcode your media. There was no reason to. Right, but here's the key, and I want to focus on this last part of this sentence. Media stored in external folders will be copied. So if you have any media in external folders, they will be copied into the library, consolidated into the library. Okay, and copied, not moved. Copied, that, that goes back moved. to our third guideline that Final Cut Pro will never manage external media. It will never... Um, move it or delete it. So it's going to take that media and it's going to put it inside the library, but it's still going to exist in that external location. That's right. It'll still okay. exist in that external location. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to bring up the background task window. And you can see what's happening. Under the media management section, it's actually consolidating the library files. So they're being copied right now being into, copied. into the library. Mm -hmm. So there's only, what, four clips, so it shouldn't take that long. And uh, we're done. Oh, and check it out, what happened in the library properties. Notice, media locations, there's now only one drive 
for that media. That media does still exist on another drive, but as far as the library is concerned, it's all inside the library. Now. Exactly, okay. exactly. It's a very important point. Mark, let's drive this point home by looking at the media in the library itself, see what happened. So I'm gonna go over to a clip, right click and choose, reveal in Finder. And here you'll see that all of that media has been consolidated into a single folder called all original four of, media. All four, all there's four no of sim clips this time. No sim like clips. Like there wasn't in the last lesson. All the eggs have been gathered into one basket. Perfect. So now, you, with confidence, you can take that library and move it to another drive, archive it, give it to another editor. You know that arc, that library is completely self-contained and it is not pointing to any external media. No, Simply sir. by using the Consolidate. You don't need to go into the package to check it. We're demonstrating that, but once you run Consolidate, it puts all that media in a single location. In this case, that single location was the library itself because that's how you would set up the library's properties. Exactly. Okay. So Steve, that actually begs the question a little bit because you did a consolidate and it consolidated into the library because that's the location that's established here. But what if you wanted to consolidate all the media somewhere else? Ah, that's where the modify settings button comes in. You can actually retarget the media to an external folder. Okay, so let's see exactly how it works. Let's see how it works. So I have this library selected, California Underwater, and you can see that everything's been consolidated into a single library. You can see media locations, it's just one location. Okay. All right. But now we want to move it out of the library, consolidate out to and an external library. So why... Excuse why, location, sorry. And why would you want to do that? I mean, it's all in the library, why would you want to put it out? Well, like you said earlier, um, I want to hand off the drive to somebody else. Um, I, I, I was handed a drive earlier and now I want to consolidate out to a single drive that just includes that content that I'm working on. Yeah, or maybe I want to be able to share the media. You know, I've got it internally, I've been working alone, but now I actually have another editor involved and in order for me to share that media with the other, in order for me to be able to share that media with the other editor, I need to have that media in an external location. Right. So let's see how we do that. So as I mentioned, the key here is this button here called Modify Settings. We'll can select it. And as you can see, everything is targeted in the library. We're going to choose, well, choose. We're going to target an external folder. Now, you'll notice I already have the underwater media folder targeted, but it's just so you can see where we're at. Um, I'm, I'm at this uh, so root level, drive. connected drive called Ripple Media, and then this is the folder I want to uh, consolidate out to. Okay. So I'm going to uh, so open the folder and then click Choose. Okay, so now you can see underwater media is targeted. Mm -hmm. And let's also do the same thing for the cache. And that, by way of review, the cache files are your analysis files, so your render files, your thumbnails, your waveforms. So you might want to send that, consolidate out there too, so that doesn't have to be rebuilt on the, uh, by the editor who's opening up the library that you're, you're handing off to. Yeah, and it has the advantage of making the library even smaller because render files can be huge. And this way it keeps the library very small and puts all of that media, all those analysis files in that external location. Correct. So I'm going to click Choose, and I'm going to target the same folder. Click Choose. And before I click OK, Backups. Backups, we said in Lesson 1, are in the Movies folder of the user. I have a strong feeling, and my, whenever I edit, I like to have the backups on a drive other than where the media is. Because mm -hmm. if the media goes down on the drive, your backups go with it. Yes. So I like to have the backups always on a local drive. Yeah, me too. So we, re in general, recommend just leaving backups alone for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, unless you wanted to target like a Dropbox folder or something like that. Exactly, which you could. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'll get a little, another dialogue comes up. And it's basically asking me, what do I want to do with my render files? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do I want to include them in the consolidate or do I not? Because if you do include them, it's actually going to remove them from uh, the current location, and you'll ha you'll need to re-render that project. Right. Correct. Okay. You'll have to re-render everything mm -hmm. in that project. So I'm, I don't have any render files included, so I'm just going to choose don't include. But you'll notice over here, underwater media is now the target. Yes, but nothing's changed in terms of media location. Yes, and this is a very important thing you need to understand. We initially set this library up as a managed library. So media that's already in the library yeah. stays there. Okay. It doesn't automatically get moved to the external location. It's already there. So modify settings has no impact on media that's already in the library. Already in the library. This has to do with media that, that's going to be imported in the future. After, okay. After. So change, modify settings only affects imports after you've made the change. Exactly. So let's see how that works exactly. All right. So uh, I'm going to select this 
kelp forest um, event. So you're going to import some media I'm now. I'm going to import some media into okay. it correctly. And I'm going to bring up the import window. And I'm going to find this, uh, this, this little shipwreck, shipwreck clip here, so I know what that is, a little underwater shipwreck. And I'm going to click Import Selected. Now, earlier we looked at this window, and there was a copy to library operation, but there's a little bit more text here now. It doesn't just say copy library, it says copy to library storage location underwater media. What you just set in the library properties. So again, you can't decide here to change your mind. You set it once and forget it. And now media, if you choose to copy media, it's going to be copied to the location that you already established in library properties. Right. But it's, you still do have the option to leave in place. That's that, that always there. That option it's is always there. there. Yeah. Right. So I'm just pointing out that Final Cut is telling you where the yep. media is going to be copied to now. Yep. By the way, you, we do have this keywords for finder tags. If, if that media ha had been tagged with finder tags, yeah. it would all come in. Yeah, as keyword collections. Yep. It's nice. So I'll go ahead and click import. And uh, just like that, there it is. There's, there's the clip. Right? So let's see where Final Cut Pro put it. Okay. Right click, choose Reveal in Finder. We're taken right to the Finder, and if I open this up, you'll see that it put that single clip into a Final Cut original media folder with the date of the folder when the media was created. Okay, but it, the, the point is here, put it in the underwater media folder that you set up in Modify Settings. That's right. And it's interesting, it's the only clip in there. Well, it's the only clip. Where's all the rest of the media? It's in the library. It's still in the library. Right. Because when you made the change in modified settings, it only affects media import going forward. That's right. So then how do we get all the existing media into this folder as well? Well, we use the consolidate command, but we're not going to do that just yet. I wanted okay. to point out this cache ah, thing. Ah, okay. I, it's important to note that, that, that a cache package was created. It moved the cache to this new location. Okay. The original cache is gone. Uh, it and just it deleted it. it deleted okay. it. Now it's here. Right. When you, ch when you chose modify settings, you set this location for the cache. And so it did that right away. In fact, if I open this, if I say show package contents, you'll see that there's my analysis and my render files uh, folder. Are all set are and ready all to go. Set ready okay. to go. So that happens right away. Happens right away. Okay. Right. So back to your question. Um, now I have media in two locations. In well, fact, if I select the, the library, yeah. you'll notice that there we, there we sure go again, two yep. locations. I have the original media I imported when it was a managed library in the library, and I have one clip that's outside the library because we changed it in modify settings. Yep. So at this point, we want to gather all our eggs in, in one, one basket. basket. Okay. So this is where the consolidate button comes in. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click consolidate. And this, we already explained what this window did earlier, but just by way of review, it's going to take all of that media and consolidate it out to that external folder. Yes. Right. And we should probably mention, it says media stored in external folders will be copied. So again, if you have media that's sitting, that was left as leave in place, it's, it's going to be copied to this new location. Yep. Not moved, it'll just be copied. And the coolest thing to me here is you can include optimized and proxy media in an external location. Right. Previously, you couldn't do that. It was so. always inside the library. Right. Now you can move yeah. it, and this can consolidate it out. Yes. So I don't have any optimizer proxy media for okay. this, so I'll, I'll leave it checked, unchecked. And I'll click OK. And if I open up the background tasks window, you can see the media, man, media management operation taking place. Consolidate it's library It's consolidating. Files. It's taking all that media and gathering it and putting it in that external folder now. So I'm going to go ahead and close the background task window and select the library and show you that all of the media now has been consolidated out to this external folder, it's, as you can see here. To that single drive. To that single drive. In fact, let's take a look at the clip itself by right-clicking on it and choose Reveal in Finder. And you'll notice here, there's my folder, Underwater okay. Media. There's my original media, and it took all of that content that was previously the other clips. Yep. in the library, and it put them inside this, um, this folder that has a, a date stamp. That was the day the media was originally created. Okay. So it, Keeps it separate, but there, there's all my all yeah. my media. So the poor lonely clip is now joined by all of his friends. All of his friends. Everybody's together in one place. <laughs> yes. Great. So uh, that, of course, would make your library smaller if it was a managed uh, library. If it was originally managed, it would make the library very small. That would make it exactly. So let's summarize. What does the consolidate operation do? And it's good to see it visually. 
It moves all imported media in a project, event, or library to a single location. We just talked about doing it with a library here, but you can actually consolidate just a project, all the media in a project, or just all the media in an event. Right, we just chose a library because... Yeah. That's what you probably do most often. Most often. And so you can consolidate in, which means taking all the media that exists outside the library and bringing it into the library. In other words, making it a, a singular managed library. And, and as you see here in the text, does not delete the external media that it's managing it's into somewhere. that library. Yeah. So you will end up with two copies, which you may or may not want, but Final Cut will never delete that. You'll need to delete it yourself. Then there's consolidating out. That is um, taking the media, we just did this operation, where you're taking the media that's inside the library and putting it into external folder, and Final Cut Pro and creates- One location, too. One location, so, yeah. and Final Cut Pro creates sim links to that mm -hmm. external folder, okay? So inside the library to a single external folder replaces media in the library with sim links. And the last thing, consolidation target is set in library properties with the modify settings command. Yeah, so that's, that's where you decide where consolidate is gonna happen. Right, so that modify button is key when you want to consolidate either in or out. You're, you're essentially retargeting your library. That's what you're doing. Okay, so from here we're gonna go look at um, moving and copying clips and events and projects uh, within Final Cut within just Final to Cut. understand what happens yeah. when you do those. And what happens like under the hood too? Where yes. does your library go? How does it, does it actually get copied? Does it not get copied? Yes. What, what happens? So we're, we're gonna look at that next.